It was very limited at the time, and there was only one newscast that began mm -hmm. um, in Washington, D.C. in the summer of 1981, and they were working out of a trailer in Washington, D.C., and I think it was in George Washington University. I don't remember exactly where, but they were working out of a trailer, and they only had satellite time for half an hour, and it wasn't like we could go up on the network at any time. Um, I did a lot of collaborations with them, so we would have myself as a reporter in Los Angeles and someone else as a reporter in, in Texas, and then we would have this, um, this newscast come out of, of, of Washington. Guillermo Restrepo was the first anchor. He's a Colombian uh, gentleman who was the first anchor there. I remember that late that summer, Anwar Sadat was assassinated, and we needed to go on the air for a one-hour special. But the network did not have the capability of going up on, on, on a network level because they only had that half an hour satellite out of Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. So we had to do it out of Los Angeles. And I was petrified because that was the first time I went from doing local, very scripted news to doing something network. Um, so my boss, Pete Moraga, uh, said, we need to do this and we need to do it now. And I, I was petrified, of course, of doing it. And, and we did, and he helped me along the way. and did very quick um, homework because we only had a few hours to prepare to go on the network live. And of course, that was just the beginning and little by little we began to grow. I think about like, maybe a year or two later, the, the newscast moved to, to Florida. Um, and little by little, we began to hire more correspondents, um, real reporters, because our contribution was not really reporting. It was sitting on, on our news set and doing sort of like a little summary of the West Coast news, like anchoring it. And, and that's what the collaborations were in, in, the first, in the first part of network news. Of course, it's changed quite a bit uh, since then, and we've grown quite a bit since then. But that's how it was in the beginning. That's mm -hmm. how SIN was, Spanish International Network. Um, until it turned into Univision, it changed, it, 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 it turned into Univision in 1987. So mm -hmm. for those uh, six years, six and a half years that I worked at KMX before mo myself moving to the network, um, it was a time of growth, a time of learning, but just like all the different facets of, of this company have been, mm -hmm. they've, all, they've all been very interesting. Were there any other female anchors on, in Latina media at the time? No, <laughs> there were not. <laughs> there was um, someone else that I, that I had replaced, like I mentioned before, um, but she did the, um, Mamalia Gonzalez was her name. She did Los Angeles Ahora. She did not do the newscast. So, you know, I was one of the first on a local level. My colleague, Teresa Rodriguez, was the first woman to be hired um, for the network. I think it was in about 82, 83. Mm -hmm. And she anchored it for, for a while. And, you know, little by little, there were more women hired. Maria Antonieta Collins was one of the correspondents uh, for our, our network news that, that came from Televisa, who's also one of the pioneers and one of the first ones to work in our, our network. 